welcome to my weekly wise woman dreaming musings. <laughs> I'm Donna Raymond and just checking in for this week. It's, I don't even know what the date is. <laughs> it actually, it is the 15th of March. There you go. Last Sunday was um, Adam's 30th birthday, which was pretty awesome. I organized for a friend to come up from northern New South Wales and do a little bit of a journey. So it's been a very interesting week full of um, lots of interactions with different people. There is some amazing visionaries uh, in the area at the moment and it's been really beautiful just connecting and, and bouncing off each other. And yeah, I really feel yeah, the gecko agrees that <laughs> something's birthing at the moment. There's some really, really beautiful undercurrents happening and I'd been called to really pull back from my online presence and I haven't been engaging in face crack <laughs> as much as I normally do and, and it hasn't actually been as challenging as what I would have thought. Like I still will find myself kind of jumping online and just out of habit going to check and just pulling my energy back, just going, what are you doing? But other more important things to do and really um, holding myself accountable for really actively participating in creating this greater dreaming that I have and also being gentle with myself in the discipline um, areas because I don't want it to be this militant you know state that I'm placing upon myself I really want to do it with grace and ease and, and find the wisdom in this experience and started painting again and this painting here has been an interesting journey it's a commission based around the uh, three wise monkeys so hear no evil see no evil speak no evil and I've had this commission for about two years and I had it and then my father passed away and then there was a big journey around that moving through grief and just transitioning and yeah I kind of lost all desire to paint or to really be creative and it slowly came back and then I became pregnant and then Maya came in and now I'm really starting to feel that stir of finding a balance between my creative life and then the life, the family dynamic as well. So it was really, really awesome to uh, paint last night and it's at the really fun stage. <laughs> For all you painters out there that really work with a vision whether it's a premeditated conceptual piece or if you're just intuitive and it's flowing you resonate when you get to that part of the painting which is a little bit monotonous and it's almost like doing the underpainting and the groundwork and you know that that's part of the journey is to really push through it and I find for myself that's where a lot of the challenges come up because <laughs> I'm impatient I paint really quick and fast and get in there and use cloths and you know like this constant push and pull between the layers and, and the paint doesn't want to get wet and wet and yeah sometimes when I know that I'm building up the layers I get really frustrated and I just kind of walk away from the painting and I lose the desire to want to interact with it and I know a lot of that for me is because I like to entone my work with energy and I really like to be in an inspired heart open space when I'm in this meditative practice because I'm actively entoning this painting with energy imprints and symbols that will radiate outwards and have the ability to permeate whatever space that those paintings end up in residing in and and I hold myself accountable for that as an artist. And I know a lot of other artists are very conscious in the way that they choose to put their images out there for, for visual artists. And it's also, I think, corresponds with any creative artist, really. So, yeah, this week I cut my hair. I felt like doing something fresh and I just wanted to hack it. And it was such an awesome feeling. <laughs> it was great. And... Yeah, I've had lots of really amazing um, affirmations and 
lessons that I, you know, learned had been implemented before come up to the surface just for uh, gentle reminders, which has been really, 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 really helped. So the one that I really wanted to share tonight is in context to sharing your heart's art and putting it out there in the world, whether it's, uh, you know, the visual arts or movement or whatever it is that really gets your heart singing in a creative field is to, <clears throat> I find it really, really imperative, particularly in this day and age, to be really conscious of what you choose to birth into the world and being discerning, particularly if you're a visual artist, what visions you're putting out there because art lives beyond the artist, you know, when you open up and you're just a conduit for spirit, for a vision to come through and you are the channel that it chooses to come through based on your particular skill set or the techniques that you wield or how you paint or whatever. Um, I find that, you know, it will come through you in a particular way and you'll feel into the vision and you'll anchor it with whatever medium of your choice. But then after that, it's out there in the world and it has its own dialogue with other people depending on their discourse or ideology, belief systems, whatever. They'll read into it in different ways. And being conscious of what you put out there is really bringing it back into what is it that you wish to dream into being and paint that. <laughs> the role of the artist is to shape culture. They are commentaries of what is happening in the present time. So if we look back on art in art history, we can see what was happening in that movement. It's like a snapshot of feeling and culture of that day and age based on the interpretations of the artists. So when you feel inspired and the muse dances with you and it takes you on that journey and you feel like you need to really dialogue and put something out there, just be discerning what energies you're dancing with and what you choose to put out there because there is a massive ripple effect that is way beyond you, that artist, and that you can be innately responsible for as a, as a catalyst for, for change and, and healing as well. And it works on all different levels and and it's also being really tuned into what symbols you're using and for instance this painting here I've used a lot of sigils in the background which I you know focused on and sat with and, and built the intention and really created those symbols with so much heart essence because I was programming them and a lot of symbols that we use today um, we don't, I don't know, sometimes it's like you don't really know their origin, like it's all taught and it's taught in books or sacred geometry and there's a resonance there and that they can be programmed with different information and it's really tuning in, really using your body wisdom and feeling into what are the best symbols or archetypes to anchor into your vision, not just going blindly and saying, oh yeah, this shape looks really cool and that's awesome or it'd be really trippy if I put this in there. It's like, no, you're dealing with a, a different aesthetic here and there's codes within that and it's being responsible to wield that magic because you're putting it out there into the world. You're casting it out in this visual language which is interpreted on many, many subtle levels. So... Yeah, I just, I really call for a lot of artists to be discerning and responsible for the art that they're cultivating and cultivating the heart's art. You know, so art is the heart of earth. <laughs> um, yeah, I could go on for forever and a day in regards to that. I'm happy to rant all at once. That was just a little bit of a pearl of wisdom that I wanted to, to share based on experiences that I have had and or have seen art world, particularly the visionary art scene as well. So yeah, so much love and many blessings. If you like this video, please share it, click like on Facebook, subscribe if you feel to, and I'll be looking forward to joining in next week. Uh, very soon I'll be starting a, a question and answer 
series which I've put the feelers out there and yeah if you feel that you want to write into that please do I look forward to connecting with you in the future